Hey guys, how you doing? This is Hobbs and uh, I'm gonna teach you a little technique. I'm calling this technique the African sidestep. And uh, I actually haven't seen this technique uh, really revealed or shown like on a larger scope, nor do I see a lot of players really using it. And uh, I'm not saying that I'm the first to invent this or you know, even the first to show it, but I haven't seen anyone, like I said, display it or make a tutorial about it, so here I am. And uh, I've actually been doing this technique since Tekken 6, and definitely back in those days, I didn't see anybody doing it. And so pretty much it's, uh, the technique to make a long story short is you're actually gonna cancel your sidestep and do another sidestep, similar to doing a Korean backdash. So imagine you do a Korean backdash, you backdash, you cancel it with, with pressing down or to, towards the foreground, and then you do another back dash, right? So you do the same thing with a side step, but you just cancel a side step by pressing four or by pressing forward uh, in the direction of the opponent. So you do a side step, you press forward, and then you do another side step. And watch the input display because that's going to help. So like I said, similar to a Korean back dash, you do a side step, forward, and then another side step, and you just cancel that. So it's going to look like this. I'm gonna do it slow this time. And I'm gonna gradually increase the speed. And that's how you do it. So my thumb is already kind of tired from doing it a lot before this video, but let me try and do it pretty fast. That's pretty much what you do. But you want to time it to where, just like a Korean backdash, you don't want to kind of do twitchy backdashes. You want to uh, backdash to the extent that your character can backdash, and then you cancel and do a backdash. So you do a more efficient backdash. So yeah, for Miguel, I can do that, right? But it'll be better if I do this. See, I'm, I'm, I'm going to cover more distance since I'm delaying my cancel in terms of my Korean backdash. Same, same with the African sidestep. What you do is, uh, you don't kind of do that, you do, to me, that's efficient. You can do it faster, of course, but uh, you want to do efficient, right? And this technique has a myriad of uh, benefits in comparison to the regular default sidewalk. For the, for the first thing is that once you do a sidewalk, Although it's very beneficial to sidestep a variety of moves and strings, you actually sidestep slower than you would a uh, sidestep. So a sidestep is actually superior in the short term in terms of uh, creating distance laterally to your opponent in a short amount of time. Then you create more distance. It's more efficient than a sidewalk. But the only benefit of a sidewalk is that it's continuous versus sidestep is just one thing. So when you do the African sidestep, you do a series of successive side uh, side steps, then you pretty much have this. You pretty much get the same benefits of a side step, but you just do it over, like I said, over multiple uh, iterations, right? So um, it has more evasive properties in the sidewalk, and you move, you cover more ground at a faster rate than the sidewalk. So it pretty much eliminates the need for a sidewalk entirely. If I do this and then do that, and I already cover more ground than just doing this. And and uh, for a character like Miguel or Lily or something like that, who have great uh, side steps, then it's even more lethal in terms of implementing this into your gameplay. And like I said, if you just look at the command history, it's literally the same, it's the same, uh, kind of idea like I said as a as a Korean backdash as you can see down below I'm just pressing up forward and then going back to up like kind of like in the DP motion or opposite DP motion kind of similar to this so um, yeah that's 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 the short end of the tutorial on how to do the African side step here's another example of what I'm talking about so normally for Dragonov's uh, running two uh, you can only sidestep it if you're like at point blank and you can only uh, sidestep it. You can't sidewalk it, if that makes sense. Then I can do that, right? 
I can do it to either side, right? Right? So, um, if I try to sidewalk while I'm while he, I'm not point blank or I'm not like right near him, then he's going to uh, hit me, right? See? Let me try the other side. See what I mean? If you don't do like a point blank sidestep, then you can't sidewalk this move. Where the African sidestep comes in is to where when you do a successive amount of sidesteps and not a sidewalk, and you're able to uh, combine sidesteps, then it pretty much emulates, you know, just like one sidestep. So eventually, Dragonov has to get close to you and approach you in order to hit you with the uh, running two, right? So even, it's still hard to evade it, but even still, you have a greater chance of sidestepping it uh, even without being at point blank range, since you're doing multiple side steps, if that makes sense. See what I mean? Uh, like I say, even though it's not steppable at range, uh, there's a greater chance that I'll end up stepping him at point blank, similar to when I, uh, similar to what I showed you earlier. So it's actually more effective as a sidewalk than a sidewalk at distance, if that makes sense. See what I mean? That's an example. That won't that you you won't be able to achieve that with a with a side step. You'll never side step it with that. See what I mean? Because you just don't go. Uh, you don't travel in a lateral a lateral direction fast enough. So, that's the benefit of using the African side step. You can also do this technique in the foreground. Now, I felt to mention that I'm actually using a pad, which actually makes it easier versus a arcade stick. The order is keyboard, then pad, then arcade stick, in terms of the ease of use when doing the African sidestep. Press down, four, and then down. See, it's kind of the same thing, but it is harder. But yeah, that's how you do it. But you see, it's kind of the same technique, though. So yeah, you can do it in the background or foreground, but it's easier in the background. All right, this is going to be a pretty bootleg demonstration, but I want to explain to you why I said that it's easier to do an African side step on a pad or a keyboard versus a stick. So you you may think that, okay, is Korean backdash easier? Because I would say people are able to Korean backdash better on a uh, arcade stick or keyboard versus a pad. In this case, pad would be third. But for African sidestep, it's actually easier for you to do it on a controller because, and again, I'm not like, a, I don't have a lot of knowledge on anatomy. I'm not, you know, in that field, I guess, of study. But um, what your natural thumb can can do this motion, but not this motion. This is a more unnatural motion to move your entire base of your thumb when doing a Korean backdash. So when I do a Korean backdash on a controller, then I have to move my thumb this way and that way. And that requires like, uh, that requires multiple bones, right? To do that, like the whole thumb. But when I do an African sidestep, I'm doing it from up, I'm doing it from a, you know, uh, kind of vertical direction. And so a natural flicking motion only uses this much of my thumb, right? So all I have to do is flick in terms of doing the African sidestep in the uh, background. So if I do African sidestep, then this is all I got to do. See that? Let me try and show you a little better. And that's more of a natural motion to just flick it. So that's why it's so easy to do this on a pad. Again, I've been testing it on a stick, but uh, on a pad is where I kind of discovered the, te the technique on Tekken 6. Uh, and this is a true story, but I actually had a broken, I had, I had Tekken 6 on a 360 and I had a broken uh, stock 360 controller to where, you know, the D-pad is more connected, but it was loose and misaligned. So, which made me accidentally do the African side step. And that's how I kind of figured out you can do that. But like I said, it's easier to do it by just flicking. All I do is flick like that, right? 
and it's easier to do it. So that's why I, I said that the technique is easier on the pack.